Okay, so for this last example, okay, so for the last example we're going to do together is this one of a roller coaster. Uh, we have several items we're going to do here. One thing I want to point out is in step B, it says use factored form. Okay, that's another way of saying intercept form. And then here in general form, we were using the term standard form. Okay, so as we get to that one, we'll go back and review those um, two equations. Okay, so we're going to write, step A, write an equation in intercept form. Uh, so intercept form, y equals a times x minus p times x minus q. Remember that P and Q are your x-intercepts. So even though this isn't sketched necessarily on a graph, you still are given the um, x-intercept. So one x-intercept is negative 48, so I'm going to let that be my P. My other x-intercept is 24, so that's going to be my Q. So first thing I'm going to do is plug in that P and Q. So it's going to be S, X minus, and then P is a negative 48. So minus a negative, that'll turn to positive. And then Q is 24. Okay, so this is going to be Y equals A times X plus 48. So we can change the, that sign. And then X minus 24. Okay. So then what we need to do is we need to figure out the value of A. Well, you have another point that's given is the 10 and 406. So you're going to use this as your X and your Y and plug those into your X and your Y in your equation. So I'm going to make those substitutions. So your equation's now going to look like y e oh, no, not y, I need 406. So 406 equals a, and then 10 plus 48, and 10 minus 24. So when you simplify, So this is 406 equals A times a negative 812. So I'm going to divide by the negative 812, both sides, and simplify. So this is going to be a negative 1 half equals A. Okay, so there's our value of A, and it makes sense because the shape of your roller coaster is a parabola that is um, opening down, so our A should be negative. Okay, so to finish this portion, y equals negative one-half times x plus 48 and x minus 24. Okay, so again, if we're applying this to a roller coaster, your x most likely would be some function of time, and then the y is some function of height. Okay, so that finishes part A. So B, used the intercept form to put the equation into standard form. Okay, so we did this the other day where you are just multiplying out your equation. So I'm going to FOIL and I'm going to leave my negative one half and then I'll do that last. So. Here, let me rewrite it real quick. Okay, so when I FOIL, this is going to be x squared minus 24x plus 48x, and that, let's see, is a negative 1,152. Okay, I'm going to put like terms together. And 
and then you can distribute your negative one half and here is your equation written in standard form or as this um, page calls it general form okay then C, find the, act, find the vertex is what we're doing for C. Um, okay, so then we, okay, so we have two ways. So if we want to work from intercept form to find my vertex, I can do P plus Q divided by 2. If you want to work from the standard form, we could go negative b over 2a to find our vertex. So either one will work. You'll get the same answer. Um, since I just have this equation right above me, I think I'll go with a negative b over 2a. So my b is negative 12. So the opposite of a negative 12 all over 2, and then my a is a negative 1 half. So this will be positive 12 divided by negative 1, so negative 12. Okay, so there's the x-coordinate for my vertex. Okay, so now, so vertex is going to be negative 12, and then we need to find the y value. So I have two equations I could use. It doesn't matter which one you plug this into. So if you can plug it into standard form for the x and find the y value, or if you want to go with your intercept form, you can plug it in there. Okay, I'll just put it back into the standard form. So this is going to be negative 1 half times negative 12 is going to get squared, minus 12 times a negative 12 again, plus 576. Okay, so this is 144 plus 144 plus 576. So this is going to be 72, negative 72, and then plus 144 plus 576. Uh, let's see what that is. like 648 so there's your y value so 648 and then that is part C so find the vertex so we did that and then use the previous a value and vertex to put into vertex form so we're gonna have all three equations for this example okay so then last part, vertex form. So remember vertex form is y equals a times x minus h quantity squared plus k. All right, so we have all of the pieces we need. We already found a previously to be negative 1 half. And then we just found our vertex. So it's going to be h or x minus our h. Our h is a negative 12. And then our K is 648. So I'm just going to clean up my signs. And there it is. So you have this one written in all three versions. You have the standard form, intercept form, and vertex form. Okay, so now you can finish up this last example. Have a good day.